Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for today's upload. It's going to be a very quick one, just a few updates which I wanted to give you guys. But first, let's begin with the transfer list. So yesterday, uh, during the upload, I listed Douglas Costa at 500k because he was fresh. So this is always, if you guys are new to the channel, I've been talking about it for uh, months now, that um, whenever you have a top tier special card or an icon, right, you can always buy them fresh. Uh, do not pay that extra to buy them fresh, but when they are in packs, you will be able to get them at the same price um, when they're fresh. And those cards a week or two weeks out will always hold more value because there's uh, quite a few people that like to buy cards when they're fresh and you will always be able to get that extra value. So you can see right there with Douglas Costa where I got a 70k uh, premium than the price that was on the market. He was selling at 430 at that time and I got a 500k just because he was fresh. Um, I sold all three of my Cancelos that were left at 214, 214 and 219, uh, which is very good profit. This uh, 219 was bought at uh, 200k, so there's not all that much for, of a profit, but these two were bought at 175, so that's some very good profit there. So I'm just gonna clear those out. Now, I still have a Rashford, which is fresh, which I'm listing, but at some point I'll have to um, I'll have to sell it uh, at maybe cheaper than that because this is around 700k more expensive than the price which is on the market. And I just don't expect someone to pay that 700k premium for a card just because it's fresh, especially with team of the season coming up. So I'm going to wait for the PL uh, team of the season and I'm pretty sure this card will rise in value at that time. I'll see what to do. Uh, in terms of fodders, I still have them all. I've got some other Douglas Costa listed, which I still haven't listed since morning. So I'm going to take advantage of relisting my cards. I'm just not sure um, if we'll be getting lazy sales today. And the reason being is that a lot of people expect uh, the PL team of the season to come out. Now, today we did get that uh, guaranteed EFL uh, team of the season uh, SBC. And uh, I still haven't done it. Uh, I didn't get time. I'm most probably going to do it tonight or maybe tomorrow. But um, the main reason is that it was an 83 rated squad, which I was telling you guys it would be an 84. Um, I'm very surprised they went for the 83. And this is making the fodders market go down back to almost the same price that I had bought them. Now, this is really, really good news for you guys who still haven't invested in fodders because... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is some kind of a bluff from EA and they will figure out a way to bring the community one which will be at the lowest will be 85 rated squad if not maybe even 86 it wouldn't surprise me if it's an 86 but at the lowest it will be an 85 rated and this time around with the EFL they did not require a team of the season player to be included into that SBC which I'm 99% sure they will require it for the community one. Um, so this is making those two uh, investments very appealing at the moment to buy fodders and to buy a uh, discard team of the season. Now, what do I mean by discard? It means maximum 14K for a team of the season card, which is rated above 83. Uh, I'd say 84. Uh, 83 is a bit too low. So what I did, uh, I picked up a Havertz today at 222. At 220 with a striker and a hunter i just don't have an explanation but i just know that Havertz sells a lot uh, when he is converted to a striker and another thing was that hunter which is already applied on him uh, which gives him that pace boost and i got him at 220 he's currently around 235 if i'm not mistaken this is the last time i checked his price on footbin's app i also picked up uh, at least three or four lozanos at uh, 76 and a half uh, I don't know why all of them are not showing. Maybe maybe it's because I'm unassigned at the moment. I've got around 500 cards in my unassigned. So this must be the reason. I picked up some more Laportes last night with all those Cancelo and, and Douglas Costa sales. Now I can easily say I've got around 7 mil worth of, uh, of fodders uh, in my unassigned. So I'm still working on that. I'm... Now I'm done buying fodders. I'm just buying special cards for um, rewards day flips, which this week won't be on Wednesday or Thursday. It would be 
on a Friday after the content drop because we saw it last week as well. People wanted to see the community team of the season before they build their squads. So I think it's gonna be the it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. The only difference coming is that I don't think cards at the moment. Now here's a card which I'm very interested to buy, uh, for a flip. It's gonna be uh Future Stars uh Ren and Lodi, and. I'm not going to buy him at the moment and the reason being is that I think whenever we're going to get that um, loading screen for the next um, team of the season, if it's a major league, a lot of cards will start selling off. What do I mean by a major league? It's uh, top five leagues, right? Bundesliga, Serie A, League A, uh, Premier League. The cards will start selling off. I'm pretty sure about that. So there's no point for me to buy a 265k player when I'll be able to get him on a Thursday for maybe 250k even below that. But the risk here um, would be that we get the loading screen and it's not the PL, it's not a top five league and it's going to be, let's say, for example, Liga Noche, right? What happens is that all those cards will start going up in price immediately. So this is why you guys can see that I did not buy all my flips, but I did start investing a bit uh, on the market. Let's say if I wanted to buy five Palacios, I've bought three at the moment. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, Telemans I've bought, I've got around five or six. I'm holding, I'm buying a few where I get the very good deals. Like for example, the Sky Havertz here at 220 is a really good deal. Last week, um, during weekend league, he was selling for around 270k. I got a lazy sale, uh, which I don't even remember. It must be somewhere around 340k. Um, this is a card that usually rises every single weekend league. And, and, and once again, I expect this card to rise once again due to the Goretzka link. Now, he strong links to Goretzka, which is something um, always to keep in mind. Link investments always work. So in terms of fodders, you guys can just keep buying as long as uh, you are not um, well invested in that. Uh, I would just keep buying. Um, but there's a limit. You don't want to go like me, 500 cards unassigned, because then um, you just have that pressure that you need to sell them before you can open your packs. And this pretty much ruins your gaming experience. For me, it's not all that much because I'm currently collecting packs. But let's say if the PL team of the season comes out this week, uh, on Friday, then I will have that uh, massive pressure of selling my cards in order to open my packs because I'm saving them for a top five league, uh, which basically I will only open my packs when I see um, the PL team of the season or the Bundesliga team of the season and maybe Serie A as well. Um, but it's basically for a top five league, right? So um, you don't want to go that much unassigned. And at the same time, I have a lot of flips like Telemans that I was buying at 170, which are all stuck somewhere, uh, which I just can't get access to them, uh, which is something which is not really good because uh, if he rises at the moment, I'm not able to take the coins on him. Now, once again, EA bluffed us today by releasing an 83 rated squad for, um, for the EFL. Now, the supply on the 83s, this is why you can see why EA did it. Uh, there was a reason for it. The 83s did not go up at all in price. Here's a guy, Albiol, which usually when an 83 rated squad is required, he jumps all the way up to, to 8K. I've sold him multiple times at 9K. And today he did not even move. He's still at the same price, which pretty much tells us why EA went for that. Because they just knew it that first of all, people were heavily invested into fodders. And second of all, the supply on those 83 is shocking. I knew there was a lot of supply, but not at that point. This is just massive, massive supply on those 83s. They, they basically gave us that SBC almost for free for like 20k. And once again, they did not even move, which means people had club stock of 83s and the supply on the market was just so huge. So once again, if you guys want to invest for flips, there's a few cards which I really, really like. Uh, I showed you guys uh, Ren and Lodi. Uh, here's another guy which I'm very interested on. This card usually rises every single weekend league, uh, no matter what. Just have a look at his graph and you will see it for yourself. Every single uh, Thursday and Friday, this card rises in uh, in terms of price. And um, you would be able to get him at early 400s uh, during the week. 
Now, if uh, a top five league is uh, is going to be in packs with uh, team of the season this week on Friday, then you will be able to get that Finistus Junior at least 40, 50k cheaper because the sell off will be massive, especially if it's a if it's a PL team of the season. So uh, here's another card which I'm very interested on. I think with the PL team of the season, the strikers will be just so expensive. And this is when people will turn back to buying. Uh, I think this is when the people will start uh, realizing that foot birthday strikers are very cheap, especially a guy like Lacazette who has five star weak foot. I'm using him in my team. I know how good he is. So once again, you will be able to pick him up for cheaper. And it's something which I heavily, heavily uh, recommend. Another card which has always made me coins. Always, always. It's going to be Mo Salah. Now, Mo Salah, um, the striker version, I'm not sure how much he goes for. I just know that he dropped a ton. But at the moment, seems like he is coming back to his normal price. I saw him yesterday uh, at around 460, 470k. But once again, this is a card that usually rises. I've seen this card rising 150k during weekend league because it's the only central Salah and the more we get uh, deeper into the game cycle the more people are avoiding wingers because of the formations which they use and the other players like for example you you no longer need wingers because if you have the coins you'll be able to get a neymar central card same goes for messi same goes for salah so that's a very rare card on the market there's not much of him on the market and once again during a sell-off if you're able to grab this card anywhere below 450 you will be making a ton of coins there's one card which i'm very very interested to buy uh, it's going to be bent on core and the reason being is that um, he strong links to douglas costa and to ronaldo which are two very popular players at the moment and you guys know if you ever used Cristiano Ronaldo, you know he's a meta player this year as well. Uh, I would consider him meta player this year too. But he's extremely hard to link. And if you don't have uh, that Alexandro card, it's very difficult to strong link him. This is why I, I really, really liked Douglas Costa as an investment. But once again, now you have a very cheap link to both of them, to strong link both of them. And once again, I think this is a card that may rise. And he's a FIFA player as well, right? Last year, he was very popular. I'm sure a lot of people would be willing to give this card a try once again. Uh, 99 Stam, very good defending stats. Um, he has good dribbling. Um, he has very good pace as well. And being at 52k, um, even even 55k is, is a very good price. I think he may rise. In terms of other cards, I have a list of maybe 15 other cards, which I'm going to share with you guys when the market will drop, if it drops. I'm going to make a quick video right there. Here's a wonderful, wonderful deal. 50k with a shadow. So uh, I'm going to share them with you immediately making a video and telling you guys which cards to buy. At the moment, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like me and you're stuck with a lot of fodders, which do not worry, do not sell them. Um, wait for that SBC. I think tomorrow we're going to get the community team of the season. And uh, this is when you guys will be able to cash out on at least half or if not, maybe even all of your all of your fodders. So that's pretty much it for today. If you guys appreciated the content, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let me know in the comments down below if there's any questions. I'll, I'm always trying my best to answer all of them. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.